Across the vast tapestry of time, our planet holds secrets of immense journeys. Few are as profound as humanity's ancient quest to bridge continents. How did our ancestors first set foot on the Americas, a world seemingly isolated? To understand, we must journey back to the last great ice age. When Earth's climate transformed, it unlocked pathways once unimaginable. Global ice sheets locked away colossal amounts of water, altering coastlines worldwide. As ice accumulated, sea levels plummeted by over 100 meters, exposing sunken landscapes. What was once ocean floor began to rise, a silent, monumental unveiling. And there, between what we now call Russia and Alaska, a vast new land bridge emerged. This was Beringia, a massive subcontinent-sized expanse teeming with life. Despite the Ice Age, Beringia itself was a unique, vast, and relatively ice-free steppe tundra. Its ecosystem, though stark, offered sustenance to megafauna and resourceful migrants. This land was not empty. It was a sanctuary for Ice Age giants. Spanning over a thousand miles from north to south, Beringia was no mere crossing. It was a world unto itself, a vibrant, temporary paradise for those who called it home. As the Ice Age intensified, more of Beringia emerged, a new continent-sized world. The rich, fertile tundra soil supported a surprisingly diverse array of plant life, a unique biome. Giants roamed these plains, sustained by the abundant forage and their incredible resilience. But Beringia also harbored formidable predators, masters of this icy domain. Among them, the colossal short-faced bear, a true king of the Ice Age. Swift prehistoric horses raced across the plains, their speed a defense against predators. Every creature here was a testament to adaptation, sculpted by extreme cold. Rivers, though cold, provided vital arteries for life and travel across Beringia. The land itself bore witness to millennia of geological shifts, now laid bare. Ice, sculpted by wind and time, formed natural cathedrals of frozen beauty. The relentless winds of Beringia were a constant, brutal companion, shaping the land. Under celestial lights, ancient travelers gazed upon a sky, both familiar and wondrous. Each day on Beringia ended with a spectacle, a reminder of time's passage. For millennia, Beringia stood, an isolated bridge awaiting its historic purpose. Far to the west, in the harsh lands of Siberia, humanity forged its existence. Their lives were a constant dance with nature, dictated by the rhythm of the hunt and harvest. But what truly compelled them to leave the familiar behind? A changing climate? A diminishing food supply? Within these tight-knit communities, survival was a collective endeavor, rooted in strong bonds. Ingenuity was their survival tool, crafting instruments from the land's raw offerings. As whispers of new lands reached them, preparations for an epic journey began. Children, the future of their lineage, were taught the intricate dance of survival from birth. Every provision, every resource, 
was meticulously gathered for the unknown path ahead. Their world was imbued with spiritual meaning, a deep reverence for nature's power. Then, a revelation, a glimpse of land where maps showed only ocean, beckoning them east. The decision was made. To the east, they would follow the promise of new hunting grounds. A handful of families, the pioneers of a continent, began their monumental journey. Every possession was vital, carefully chosen for survival on the unforgiving path. Their faithful canine companions, ancestors of our own, shared the burdens and the dangers. The cold was an ever-present adversary, testing their resolve with every frigid step. Before them lay a landscape of unimaginable scale, a canvas of endless tundra. They left behind the only world they had ever known, venturing into the true unknown. Hope for a new beginning, mingled with the gnawing apprehension of a perilous future. Guided by seasoned elders, these pioneers navigated the silent, frozen wilderness. Finally, they stepped onto Beringia, the fabled land bridge, the gateway to a new world. Days turned into weeks, weeks into months, as they traversed the boundless Beringian tundra. Every step was a battle against formidable terrain from treacherous ice to deep, powdery snow. Then, the fury of Beringia itself would descend, blinding blizzards, testing their very will to survive. Ingenuity was paramount, quickly fashioning shelters against the brutal, unforgiving storm. Survival depended on an intimate knowledge of their environment, meticulously tracking game. The hunt was a desperate, dangerous ballet, a pact between predator and prey. A successful hunt meant sustenance for all, reinforcing the bonds of family and tribe. Rivers, though frozen in parts, presented treacherous obstacles, testing their collective courage. They shared this land with giants, learning to coexist, to respect the power of the wild. Under the cosmic clockwork of the night sky, stars became their compass, their ancient map. Even in this stark landscape, they found nourishment, a testament to their deep ecological knowledge. The journey was a collective endeavor, each member relying on the strength of their family. The journey took its toll, especially on the elders, yet their spirit remained unbroken. New generations, though protected, were born into this relentless trek across the world. At night, fire was their lifeline, a beacon against the darkness and the piercing cold. Around the fire, stories were told, histories passed, preserving their identity through the journey. The horizon seemed to recede with every step, an endless expanse of unknown territory. But then, on the distant horizon, new landmarks emerged, the towering peaks of a new continent. Each step, though agonizing, was a deliberate act of will, pushing them ever forward. Finally, after what felt like an eternity, the eastern edge of Beringia lay before them. For a time, Beringia became home, with temporary camps providing much-needed respite. Every part of the hunt was utilized, especially the hides, crucial for warmth and protection. New resources meant new tools, adapted to the unique challenges of Beringia's landscape. the icy waters offered another vital food source, requiring patience and cunning. Seasonal changes allowed for foraging, 
supplementing their diet with resilient plants. They lived in harmony with the land, acutely aware of every ripple in its delicate balance. Amidst the struggle, there were moments of profound peace, appreciating the raw beauty around them. Smaller game provided crucial supplements, requiring different skills and swift action. Even in this wild, unforgiving world, childhood found a way to blossom, full of curiosity. Their connection to the land was deeply spiritual, expressed through ancient rites and ceremonies. With each passing season, they refined their techniques, deepening their mastery of this harsh environment. Temporary shelters evolved into more robust dwellings, signifying longer stays on Beringia. The long, dark winters were a true test, demanding resilience, foresight, and collective spirit. Through shared hardship, their social bonds deepened, solidifying their tribal identity. Ancient knowledge, honed over generations, was meticulously passed down to ensure future survival. Beringia was a land of seasons, its face transforming with the sun's annual journey. On Beringia, they were truly alone, pioneers in a world untouched by their species. For thousands of years, Beringia sustained these resourceful communities, a crucible for a new culture. But the journey was not over. The call of the unknown, of new lands, still beckoned. With renewed spirit, they looked eastward, towards the true heart of the Americas. Then, the ultimate sight, the dramatic, formidable coast of what would become Alaska. They had crossed the threshold, stepping onto a continent never before touched by human feet. A new world greeted them, teeming with unfamiliar flora and diverse, vibrant fauna. But North America was still locked in the grip of the Ice Age, a land of formidable glaciers. Deep within this icy fortress, a crucial pathway emerged, the Ice-Free Corridor. Finally, they stepped onto Beringia, the fabled land bridge, the gateway to a new world. Beyond the corridor, a land of incredible abundance awaited, a true promised land. From these intrepid few, populations flourished, spreading rapidly across the vast new continent. Driven by curiosity and necessity, their descendants pushed ever southward, reaching every corner. From Arctic tundras to sun-baked deserts, humanity adapted to an astonishing array of environments. These pioneering journeys laid the foundations for the rich and diverse indigenous cultures of the Americas. But Earth's climate continued its ancient dance, and the land bridge began its slow retreat. The sea, once held at bay, steadily reclaimed its domain, erasing the ancient pathway. The bridge was gone, leaving two continents forever separated by vast, deep waters. For millennia, the Americas would develop in unique isolation, fostering extraordinary civilizations. From these migrations sprang a tapestry of diverse cultures, each rich with tradition and spirit. The echoes of Beringia live on, woven into the very DNA of millions across these lands. Today, Scientists continue to unearth the secrets of Beringia, revealing new chapters of our past. Every artifact tells a story, a fragment of the incredible human journey across continents. Genetic evidence powerfully confirms the profound ancestral links spanning thousands of years. The story of the Bering Land Bridge is a testament to the indomitable spirit of humanity. It reminds us of our planet's ever-changing face, 
and the profound power of nature. The ancient journey of a few shaped the destiny of billions. Our past is closer than we imagine. The story of human migration continues, a testament to our innate drive to explore, to discover. Join us again on the Earth